So if you're a Saints Row fan, then this video will be interesting to you, because if you have played Saints Row the 3rd and Saints Row the 4th, you'll know that Gat doesn't exactly look like the Gat from Saints Row 1 and Saints Row 2. Now look, in Saints Row 2, Johnny Gat had these tattoos near his neck, like, uh, you know, some tribal tattoos that just represent him. That's how we knew Johnny looked like, these tattoos were part of his uh, character. Those tattoos kind of defined him, you know. And when the Saints Row games continued and Saints Row the Third got released, we got this get without tattoos. And yeah, besides that, we also had the change only and the Pierce. But something interesting is that Johnny Gat doesn't have those tattoos in Saints Row the Third and Saints Row the Fourth. Now we do know that Shondi changed her haircut and her body because uh, she's a girl and she had money and. She has insecurities about herself, but when it comes to Johnny Gat, would he really remove his tattoos? The tattoos he had ever since Sensor 2 and maybe Sensor 1 if I'm correct? Well, I don't think so. Is this just a gaming development mistake or is it something more? Now let's go deep into this something more thingy. Many Sensor fans say that Sensor the 3rd and Sensor the 4th are not uh, real in the Saints Row universe, they're just some dreams, some uh, kind of drug usage uh, trip that they're going with, yeah, you could say that. And I get their point, like Saints Row 3 and Saints Row the 4th are just different from Saints Row 1 and 2. And yes, it could be a theory, like it just couldn't be proven to be true, real or false, and this could help Volition remake a better Saints Row by just saying that this was just a trip that the Saints got when taking too much drugs or something, I don't know. Maybe just another coma just like they did with Saints Row 2. But they just keep uh, making mistakes then saying, oh, it was a coma, oh, it was a trip, oh, yeah, we taken too much drugs. Like, this might work, I mean, it's volition, they're ne really not taking this thing seriously when it comes to the story and that's why we love them, but... I don't know, I think it might be just a design mistake for Johnny that they made. But it will be interesting to see what Volition has to um, say on this topic. Yeah, I mean it's just a minor thing, just the lack of tattoos on Johnny's body, nothing else. Like he's still the same character, he died in Sins of the Third and then came back in Sins of the Fourth, like boom and yeah, that's the Saints Row 3 and Saints Row 4 story. It's kind of f***ed up to be honest, but it just works, and it's okay I guess. Now what you guys think about this minor detail that is in Saints of the Third and Saints of the Fourth? Make sure to leave your comments in the comment section and I'll see you at another video. By my merch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or let me know I'm broke. Oh, many motherfucker Latino, Romanian oh, motherfucker Latino, fresh as a motherfucking G ho, fresh dope boy with a kilo, eyes bleed in my smoke, yo, I'm kicking pussy like dojo, low keen and no low low, but bring it down like rain, yo. Let me go deep now, slow it, slow it down.